All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to use Liquify to enhance your hero before you uh, move on to any other uh, adjustments. So one of the things we're going to do is uh, we're going to pretend that for some reason the hair has some kind of spiky effect and we're going to use the uh, Liquify tool to do that. So where do you get that? You go to uh, Liquify and it will pop the screen open. And one of the things I recommend is that you zoom in to the spot that you want. And I'm going to be using the head because you said we're going to do the hair. Again, I'm going to do this quickly. So this here is called the uh, the smudge tool or the, here's this forward warp tool. Uh, one thing you want to do is your bracket, get it to be the right size and your, your brush and use the bracket tools to do that. So I'm going to go about like this. Okay, so I don't know, maybe this hero has electric powers and for some reason, because of that, he has like spiky hair that comes out. And, you know, I'm going to let you use your own imagination for what, if this even applies to your hero or not. So here you go. I'm going to just go quickly here. You got to basically grab and stretch. And it may be that this doesn't work at all and doesn't look that great. But I just want to show you that that's a possibility of something you can do. And I'll just quickly finish here. And you can play around with some of these pressure. Right now it's at 100%, but which is pretty much what I kind of need because I'm kind of working here pretty hard. So let's pretend that we like that. I don't really like that, but I want to show you that you can you can do this with this tool. Okay, so that's one thing. The other thing I want to do with this model is I'm going to change and give him bigger arms because he's a hero and we want to like beef him up so that he looks like he's ready to fight the bad guys. So we're gonna click this bloat tool, and the way the bloat tool works is you press it, and when you keep your finger on it, it keeps expanding the part that's in. Uh, the, one thing that we can do here, I'm gonna actually start by doing quickly touch-ups of the face. We're gonna bloat the eye a little bit, just so it's a little bigger, but not much. Okay, that was a little too much. I'm gonna go Command Z, just one click, one click. Because we're going to be doing some, and maybe the chin, you know, he's got a big strong chin because he's a superhero. Maybe you can't see it, but it's it's kind of making it a little bit rugged. I'm going to expand the brush with the bracket tool. So I'm going to go down here and keep my finger down. And you're going to see that he's going to grow. And you got to play around with it because sometimes it kind of blows it in a silly way. And also we're going to work on the triceps too. Maybe a little bigger here, might be easier. Yeah, that's it, bigger brush works. So we're gonna swell them up pretty much everywhere. Maybe even give them nice traps here. Oops. So we're gonna just fill them up that way. Maybe you wanna, now you would've took off the logo here, I just didn't bother here. So. And then I'll go quickly do the other side. So as you can see, he's going to be a much more muscular, a lot larger. We should definitely be doing the forearms. Uh, let's see here. I didn't do the forearms over here, so it kind of looks funny. Okay, uh, I'm going to say that's pretty much good enough. It's not a very good job, but then again, I'm going pretty fast here. I'm going to go, um, uh, there's a couple other tools here that you could use. This is the up opposite. So if you did a, a mistake and you want to shrink it, this is the pucker tool. Let's pick his nose for a second. See, it made it a little pointy. Nostril, same thing, made it smaller. Now, these are often used uh, in fashion touch-ups. So that's a cool thing that you could do. So I'm gonna leave it that way and say that I'm happy with that. Uh, this is also a pretty cool tool. It's the uh, mask tool. This tool, I'm gonna to expand this and I'm gonna, uh, let's see, is this, I always get these two mixed up. Freeze mask tool, I think is the one I'm looking for. I'm gonna just show you what this does. So this is kind of creating a, a line where it, you can't 
pucker or go beyond this. The mask protects it. So if I use the pucker tool here, let's say we want to slim his waist down. Uh, look what happens when I click. It'll go all the way up to where the mask is and it won't go any further. So maybe you're trying to create that hourglass figure for whatever reason. I'm going to go back to this, do this on the other side. And it kind of creates a, you try to have a straight line, which is the, the catch here. So we're going to go here and uh, I'm going to go just down here and we'll, it'll stop right where the mask is. And uh, I don't know if it's perfect or not. But. So let's have, all right. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what he looks like. Just going to zoomed out in there before I escape, but. So yeah, okay, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of a thing. So there you go, that's uh, how you can start enhancing uh, your hero, giving them bigger muscles, maybe playing around with the hair and creating an effect with some of the tools. Um, hopefully you find that useful, thanks.